So I'm going to show you a couple things you can do with um, your Inspire in terms of vectors. Uh, the first thing you need to know is how to enter a vector. Um, so what you do is uh, control and then open parentheses and uh, it gives you the uh, brackets and so 3 comma 2 is the vector and then when you press enter the comma goes away but it's still there. Um, I also recommend that you store vectors um, so Control equals and then that again and then uh, three two um, and uh, we can store another one as uh, negative five six let's say once you've done that you can um, add and subtract them so I can do three a uh, minus five b something like that uh, I can find the magnitude and remember we said the magnitude is the norm so you're gonna go uh, menu matrix and then 7 is norm. You want norm, not row or column. Um, and then A. If you don't have it stored, you can do uh, the norm of, and just type in the vector, 4, 8. Um, if you have the uh, numeric, uh, it'll give you a decimal. So what you can do then is uh, take that and square it. So the norm is the square root of 80, and then work out by hand what that is. Um, we can also uh, create a unit vector, which you remember should be the, um, so it's A over the norm of A, like that. Um, but it's such a common thing to do that uh, if you press menu, go to vectors, vector, um, unit vector is actually a default option. If you do A, and it gives you that. Um, we frequently need the magnitude and the direction. Uh, so that's actually also built in. Um, and it's something called convert to polar. So we're going to get the polar form of this vector, which uh, gives you all the information about the vector in terms of magnitude and direction of the vector. So uh, when I do that for this, it should give me one as the magnitude, um, and it does. Uh, you can see that I'm in radians. So what I'm going to do is change to degrees, um, and then do that again, and I get. Uh, 33.69 degrees is the direction angle. What's nice about that is uh, if I do it again and change the vector to um, let's say negative 3, negative 5, and then do uh, control enter, uh, it gives me that the direction angle is negative 120, um, which is nice because uh, we don't have to think about uh, quadrants and things like that. Uh, another thing that we might want to do is a dot product, so menu. You know, matrix and vectors, uh, vectors, and you see dot product is option three. And so I can do the dot product of A and B. It gives me my answer. I can do dot product and then uh, just enter some vectors. It's got to be two vectors or it'll yell at you, which is good because you can't do the dot product things that aren't vectors. Like that. Um, and those are a few of the basic things that you can do, and uh, I'll come back in a different video and show you a couple of other things you can do. So I hope that is helpful.